Hello and welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video we review steps for troubleshooting domain issues. Connectors attached to the incorrect UV coordinate of the underlying database can lead to incorrectly initialized domains. Today we review some corrective measures for that particular situation. On screen uh, you'll see that we have a structured domain here at the tip of this object that looks a little strange. This issue is caused by the fact that the underlying database has a singularity at the nose. What happens is that one of the connectors that attaches to the pole is actually stored in the wrong UV coordinate on the database. And so all of the grid lines are fanning out from the pole as if they were on the wrong side of the surface. This can happen with uh, automatic creation of connectors via the uh, on database entities functionality, or if you were to manually create the, the uh, connector onto the database, uh, it can happen in that situation as well. So we'll just get to some of the steps that you can use to correct the issue. Um, one of the things you can do is to actually figure out the UV space of the surface and edit the connector so that it's at the appropriate UV corner of the surface. Uh, this is the most elaborate solution. The problem will never come back as long as you don't replace the connector. The second option is to use the grid solve functionality to smooth the domain. Uh, this is not as uh, permanent of a fix as the previous suggestion. Uh, if anywhere in the process you were to delete the domain, reinitialize the domain, or delete the connector, uh, you may run into the same problem. So it's not a, as permanent, a fix, permanent of a fix as the previous solution, but we can show you how to do that. So if you select the domain and you go to grid solve, uh, you can use an initialization method of standard, and we go back to solve. All the other default attributes are, are, are most likely okay, and you can tweak those as you see fit. And then we'll run the solver for 20 iterations. And now that you'll see, uh, once the solver has finished, the domain is nice and smooth, and you don't have the strange uh, grid lines uh, that we had before. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.